was there, so it started with a dream. Two weeks ago when I had my therapy, it was a bit of a special experience. So much so I needed to let two weeks go by before saying anything about it to you. So what happened is two weeks ago on Monday I had some powerful intense dreams which for me is completely normal and an everyday occurrence. And I woke up early and I lay there coming back to being aware of being in the physical body and all the rest as per normal every morning which for me is a slow and not an easy process. It takes me a while to really get in touch with what's going on. And while I was in that coming to the surface or having dived deep during the night, some images came up and I realised instantly that this wasn't something that had ever happened before because it was completely disconnected from any trauma. It, the, the dreams were not traumatic at all. But I suddenly realised that where I was, it was like I'd been thrown back in time, best way to describe it really. And there was uh, a child and it was the end of a long night and it was in nature, the trees, and there was a pile of children's body parts and blood and other fluids. And it was a night of the elite having had one of their ceremonies, for want of a better word. And the feeling that came with this image was pure naked terror. And I didn't realize it at the time, but this for me, because everyone is different, but for me that is actually, having done all this work, all this therapeutic work, all this shamanic work for all these years, I finally have reached my rock bottom deepest state two weeks ago. And it was appropriate because a few hours later that I was sitting in front of the screen having my therapy and I was able to share that with my therapist and were able to it was the first time I said I can't do any deep work today because this has happened and it's this is uh, this is more than enough and as previously I'd been invited to simply stay with whatever's going on but we talked about it and other matters and I was aware that I was in, uh, still really hard to describe this, this is, this is why I've given it two weeks, I want to have some time before I attempted to talk about this one. But what then happened is for the next day and a half, I carried on living my life, doing the things. And sometimes the, the image would come up and more often, the sheer terror would come up and whenever it did I would I remember saying to myself I've absolutely no idea what to do with this and this is one of the really important things I would say if you're recovering from trauma you're dealing with very severe deep feelings one of the first things to do is be honest with yourself and it's like if you know what you're doing okay that's fine I acknowledge it but if you have absolutely not a clue then acknowledge that, so that's what I did. So every time in my day, for that Monday and the following day for the Tuesday, when I was doing stuff, whatever, and then it came up, the feeling, okay, I'm feeling this abject naked terror and I've absolutely no idea what to do with it. So I kept on acknowledging I hadn't a clue. And that's what I did until Tuesday evening, I found myself in the bike show that I made. Um, I love the fact that I made this structure because I just took the corner of the place where we live where the fence is and I incorporated the fence into the shed and I like doing things like that, I like using what's there and making things more simple. So I was in the shed, a little per personal place of power in the evening and it suddenly hit me. I had completely processed those beings of terror and I have a great 
thanks to someone I'm not going to mention their name but great thanks to you because it was when you were 16 and it was around shortly the time after my wife had died and we had a conversation about shamanism and shamanic practice he said if you're familiar with doing something why don't you give it over your subconscious let that do it for you and I knew he'd give me a major gift and indeed that has actually informed a lot of my shamanic practice the universal soul retrieval and even the way I train people to be aware that you can actually give a process over to your subconscious and I'd done this but I'd done it so automatically I didn't even know I did it so when I was aware of these like waves of naked terror coming over me and it's like I've no idea what to do with this that was the magic because that was me handing it over to my subconscious I didn't realize it consciously what I was doing I had no idea I just handed it over to the subconscious and the subconscious spent a day and a half processing it and by Tuesday evening I realized I feel great and it was such a wonderful feeling to realize that sometimes what we need to do is we need to do something about something and other times we just need to not do anything at all when I've literally handed it over it's been transformed and since then at least for a number of days I felt a great increase in energy got a lot more done it was wonderful now when I woke up this morning I could tell I felt a bit dull and lackluster and not so good and a bit like kind of Ugh. you know you you get that don't we sometimes you feel Ugh. and I now realize that I'm simmering with something something another layer of whatever is coming up and when that comes up I've got the tools that I need to be able to release it and one of the tools is to stay present being able to be just a simple thing like this it keeps you present if, if a person's ever aware of any pain in their body that's a way that they are being kept present grounded I can do grounding things like lie in my wonderful bed with the grounding sheet on it go outside in bare feet connect with the ground or I can sit on the wooden seat and the wood is connecting me through the ground so grounding stuff is really great and the breathing so before my therapy this time and also two weeks ago have an Epsom salt spatter a lot of really deep breath work Deep breath work is so good. I'll put a little link into my Secrets of Health and Vitality, six different breathing practices. Very, very helpful to change your consciousness in a useful, profound, and helpful way. So doing all these things, and then being aware of how I am, being aware of how my body is, aware of whatever the emotion is that's coming up, in that particular case two weeks ago, pure, sheer, naked terror, and then in my session today getting the understanding that that is my core that's the core trauma the core trauma is the terror that's what it is and once having understanding of that help, helped enormously as well and then just literally handing it over to a better part of me than my conscious mind which is the subconscious the subconscious is so very powerful and it's time just to throw this little thing in because it's so important to remember this when it comes to the subconscious the subconscious doesn't hear negative so for example if a person was to create a mantra and the mantra was I'm not lazy it's a very important one to be aware of this if you were to do that then actually the subconscious doesn't hear the word not the word not gets deleted when all it would hear would be I'm lazy so be very careful in terms of programming yourself because your subconscious deletes negatives so rather than saying that you come up with something like I'm creative so I am creative that's going to give you a result I'm not uncreative that would do the opposite of what you want so I just felt I'd throw that one in at the end there so thank you very much for listening I do appreciate it and um, I do feel that I've actually been a bottomed out the hardest bits dealt with and whatever is left to deal with is just going to get easier and easier and since those last two weeks I've made a choice I'm going to start making some films and the first one will come out uh, sometime later today and 
I look forward to being a bit more present with you than I have been for a while because for quite a bit of this process I really did need to become very inward and silent and I feel that as winter starting to give way to the beginnings of spring that's changing my consciousness and my state of being and I'm starting to feel more right going. All my love to you. Thank you.